Hey guys, and welcome back to another color grading tutorial. Today we're going to be editing like the artist Scott Backham. Um, now, if you did watch the last video, yes, I am wearing the same t-shirt. I'm just filming a load of videos in one day because we haven't really got much time this month to film and I want to try and get as many videos up. Um, now, I've tried something new and I wanted to get you guys included in the channel more because I feel like it's kind of two separate entities. It's kind of quite hard to communicate with you guys a lot of the time. So go ahead, follow us on Instagram. The links are all down below. But most importantly, if you've got any other video ideas, comment them down below because we're going to be editing like the artist Scott back in today, which uh, we got comments from some guy called Ashe Nake, Nike, Nick. I'm not really sure if I butchered that name, probably have. Um, and they said, can you do a tutorial on how to edit like Scott back and bacon? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name. Really not doing well on names today, am I? Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, now, if you want to follow along with the tutorial, um, I'm just going to move this out of your way. Um, what you can do is come onto uh, a website called wesaturate.com, uh, search for Sunset Mountain, uh, and you can scroll down and you can find this photo here, which is the one we're going to be editing. And we're going to be trying to edit like this photo here. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes, uh, and fingers crossed it all looks good. Now, if you are interested in learning to edit in more detail, if you want to learn how to edit more advanced using Adobe Lightroom, go ahead, click the top link in the description. It's our uh, advanced free training. You can go ahead and learn a load of new skills within Lightroom, um, and it's basically just uh, more of what we teach on YouTube, just because there's not enough time to go through it on YouTube. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, we're gonna jump into Lightroom, and this is the photo we're gonna be editing. Um, so I chose this photo because if you look at this photo here, there's not much detail in the sky. Um, this is a slightly darker time of day, but it's just at sunset. Just uh, I think it's around golden hour. You've got very soft lighting. Um, there's a bit of reflection in the lake we can work with, a bit of sun on the mountains like here. So I think we should be able to do a pretty good job. So let's get started. Uh, if you do want to get our presets as well, click the link in the description. You can go ahead, grab our presets. Um, and you can follow along with like, we've made loads of presets in the style of different artists. They are our personal presets. For those of you who were wondering, no, we're not ripping off other artists' presets and selling them ourselves. We just make presets that look like um, different styles. So if you want to grab those, those links are in the description. There, I'm drawing an arrow on my screen with the mouse. How cool is that? Okay, so um, while I was waffling on there, what I did is just brightened up the image. I want to bring back some detail. So I've just lifted up the shadows, dropped those highlights. Um, I don't want to drop it too much, but you see here we're now beginning to get a little bit of vignetting at the top. That's what we're aiming to get. Um, obviously the sun's very low in the sky. Um, here we've got these annoying clouds, which aren't really the best looking clouds, but we'll have to make do. Um, the next thing to do is warm up the image. Uh, the artist Scott Backen tends to have, I'm just going to call him Scott because I probably am ruining his name. He has very um, soft colours, it's slightly warm, it's not too cold, um, in fact I think we've probably gone a little bit too warm to be honest, this looks like Mars at the moment. Um, but I don't want to go too cold, I want to make sure, it's not the highest quality photo unfortunately, but we'll have to see what we can do. Um, I want to make sure we're getting a similar sort of base colour, now his photos are very desaturated as well. Um, all the colours are incredibly soft. He's also obviously just done a massive advert for this beautiful looking car. Um, so let's just drop saturation. We're going to, oh actually, yeah, drop the saturation, boost the vibrance a little bit, bring back the saturation a little bit more. Okay, so let's just toddle on back to the first photo that we were, there we go. Okay, um, blah, blah, blah. we want to get rid of some of these pinks. Sorry about all these sound effects as well. Uh, that'll do. Take out the contrast, that's going to flatten out the image. If you look at his photos, they're very flat. Um, now, I'm going to take a short break and come down to detail and just bang in a load of noise reduction there just to kind of smooth out this image because I'm getting really annoyed up here. It's looking kind of grainy just because the image is very low quality. Um, okay, so that's probably it for the basics panel. I don't really think there's much more we can do. Uh, looking at this, we should probably now I'm going to leave the tone curve alone. We might come back to that later, so stay until the end if you want to see that. Um, right, let's just jump into the HSL slider straight up. First thing I'm going to do is come to saturation. I'm going to just decrease the saturation in pretty much everything. I want to make sure the rock here is very desaturated like at the back, so we're looking to go for that colour, and also the foreground is the same sort of colour. So very soft oranges. We don't want that sunset to be like burning the top of the rock, so very soft. Um, 
not too vibrant. Now the greens, um, he hasn't seemed to change the green color too much. He looks like he's made it slightly more of a green than it should be, uh, which we'll do in a minute, um, but it's also very soft kind of greens. Now the greens are already quite soft in the foreground anyway. So what I'm going to do is just desaturate them ever so slightly, not too much. Um, the blues, very desaturated. So if you look at the sky, Go away. If you look at the sky, we've got very soft colours. Have a look at my face for a second. So <laughs> if you have a look at the sky, um, what he's done there is it's kind of a nice gradient. And because there's not much detail in the sky, he hasn't really tried to mess around with the sky too much. And it really is quite a good idea. Because if you have the sky that looks like this, that's just this disgusting looking purpley blue, and there's nothing going on, it just takes away from the whole image. So in that, we're going to take away the blue saturation and the aqua saturation, mostly the blues. And I reckon we're going for around there somewhere. Now, when I do that, we can see that he has a lot of teal in his image. So, we're going to try that in a minute. Right, the hues. Let's work out what to do with the hues. Now, um, the reds and the oranges are going to be the interesting one. And I think he takes the reds up a bit. If you look at the, this top, I'm pointing at the screen with my finger. It's not really helping. Uh, if you look at the top bit here, um, that is just too red, it's too much of a sunset. We're looking for something very soft, sort of a soft reddy brown. So take it to the right and that takes out the red. And then the oranges takes it to pink to the left. So add in a tiny bit of greens into the oranges, but we don't really want to do too much with the oranges. Um, I think just leave that as is. Now the yellows, I'm gonna, you see here if I drag the yellows to the right, it makes it very green, to the left, very brown. Um, with the greens, it'll do the same, but there's just these little sort of mounds here. So. Greens, we're going to take to the right a little bit, and we're trying to get this colour here. So at the moment, it's looking too brown, in my opinion. So, I mean, I'm also not very good at reds and greens. I reckon that is a good starting point. We'll see how that goes. That's probably a little bit too green, actually, but, you know, what can you do? Take it down a little bit, and now it's going to be the fun part. So with the aquas and the blues... Aquas isn't actually doing anything, so we'll leave that as is. The blues, we're going to add in a little bit more teal because look at this sky here. We're now beginning to get that very similar colour at the top. And it's very useful just to have the image next to you that you're trying to edit and just flick forwards and backwards. Um, we'll have that at minus 25 because I'm going to do something later which might help with that quite a bit more. And I'm going to drop the saturation of the blues a tiny bit more. And I reckon we're basically there. Next thing to do is come down to the luminance sliders. And we're going to brighten up this sort of brownie oranges just because it's just far too dark. Now, obviously, the sun is kind of coming from behind this guy in this image. And in here, it's kind of behind this rock face um, over here somewhere. So this is a lot darker, this image. We've not got a very similar lighting, but we can brighten up the reds and the oranges just to bring this photo back to life a little bit more. And then the yellows, brighten those up. Greens, we'll brighten those up a bit. Blues. Also going to brighten those up, make the image just a lot brighter. And I don't want to add it. See, if I were to do like the opposite, we're going to add loads of contrast into the image, and we don't really want that. He doesn't have much contrast in his overall image. Um, okay, going a bit rogue, we're going to come onto this gradient filter, drag the gradient filter up. That's just ruined the entire photo, so let's clear that. Uh, we're going to just boost the shadows just there, just to kind of really make sure the whole foreground is light enough. Um, maybe not that much. And then we're going to drop the contrast a little bit. And I think what we've done there is just ruin the entire photo, but you know. Very subtle, that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, coming back to the HSL, we're just going to close that up, and I reckon well, we've gone quite far from the beginning to the end, look at that. Um, and we're getting pretty close to the final colour grade. Um, one thing I want to do now, come on to the calibration side, and I'm going to try adding in some teal and orange and just see what it does um, because he has if you look at the sky lots of teal and you look at the top of the mountain orange this is kind of orange I reckon there's a minor teal and orange tone in there not much but enough to kind of make a difference so that's what we're going to do here bit of teal and orange um, turn that off and on again and I think that does help but not it's not a massive difference and then we can mess around with this green primary here just to kind of sort out the greens in the foreground because there is a lot of green in this image but I think if I take it to the right we really you know tone down the overall um, color of this image and I really think that's a massive difference that's helped quite a bit maybe take it to the right a little bit more 
yeah, that's really helping. So the green primary is quite interesting to see what it's done on this image. Okay, so I reckon we're basically there. That's basically the color grid done. I'm just looking at the sky and I think we ought to take the saturation down some more in the blues. That's probably too much. Du, 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 somewhere like that. There we have it. So next thing you can try if you want to is come onto the tone curve, lift up those mid-tones a little bit, lift up the shadows, just to kind of make the whole image a little bit softer. Um, add a little bit into the highlights, and then we can just add a tinsy bit of contrast into the shadows, but I don't really want to do much. No, actually, let's not do the shadow. There we go. Right, okay, so that's just turn the tone curve off and on again. Very subtle change, but it might make a little bit of difference to the overall image. So I hope you guys did enjoy that color grading tutorial. Um, I think we got pretty close to the overall color grade. It's just annoying the entire foreground here is this sort of a green, whereas in here it's just brown, but I reckon we've got pretty close to the color. So if you want to follow along, have a go, let me know what you think. Uh, if you are interested in our presets, go ahead and click the link down below, grab those, and also don't forget you can also grab your free training. Um, if you want any more ideas for videos, just click them, just comment, or if you want to have any ideas for videos, comment them all down below, um, and we'll get around to doing those as well. So we'll see you in the next video. Live long and prosper.